The historical drivers of healthcare disparities are myriad. So let's talk about the history of the United States. If we think about the African American population, African Americans are the only immigrant group who were brought to this country not by their own choice. And they were subjected to slavery, but once slavery ended, it's not as though they were suddenly granted equal rights and equal protection. Understanding that the majority of African Americans were living in the southern states, um, they were subjugated to, you know, basically systemic oppression through the system of Jim Crow, um, poor housing, in the inability to access health care. Now, recognizing that in the, in the 19th century, early 20th century, most individuals didn't have access to, to health care. But for African Americans, it was almost non-existent. Move forward to later in the 20th century, African Americans began to leave the, the South and move to the cities of the North, hoping for better, better opportunities. But when they came to the cities of the North, they were subjected to many of the same things that they experienced in the South, but in different forms. So segregation still persisted in housing, poor schools, schools that were poorly funded compared to the schools in other neighborhoods, inability to access jobs. So when you combine poor housing, inability to access jobs, poor education, that leads to significant disparities in wealth. And those generational disparities in wealth are ultimately related to what we see in terms of health outcomes. African Americans and others of racial and ethnic minorities have lower household incomes compared to whites. And that difference in household income relates to ability to access health care, ability to access transportation, insurance status, all these things which are really proxies for overall socioeconomic economic status, which really speaks to um, ultimately to health outcomes. We know that the higher the income, the greater the ability to access health care. And for those reasons, the history of segregation, uh, income inequality, poor schools, bad housing have created a system in which African Americans and others of racial and ethnic minorities still have, in the 21st century, poor health outcomes compared to whites.